right click on the layer duplicate layer go to filter blur and then Gaussian blur and now increase the radius press ok and now go to edit define new and then select pattern and now hide the blurred layer select the rectangle shape tool don't add the stroke and for the corner radius i'm going to go with 20 pixels press enter and now create your rectangle right click on the rectangle and then select rasterize and then right click select blending options select pattern overlay left click on the pattern and then select the blurred layer we added and then make sure to uncheck the align with layer and now we're going to style our rectangle here let's add the bevel and emboss so i'm going to leave it with the default settings and now i'm going to add the drop shadow so i'm going to increase the size reduce the distance and then press OK and now select the move tool and now if you select the rectangle here you can move it so as you can see the blur is only on the rectangle part you can also if you check the transform controls you can also increase the size it will still keep the effect kind of interactive or even rotate it so now Double click here, type 0, press enter. Now I'm just going to center the rectangle 